Hey everybody, Keith Dotson here, and in this video we're going to walk around the beautiful city of Savannah, Georgia and look for things to take black and white pictures of. The video is really two parts. The first part is the city of Savannah itself, and the second part is the countryside outside of Savannah, specifically at Worms Low Plantation. When you're talking about Savannah, you're of course talking about historic architecture and beautiful trees with Spanish moss. This is the Mercer Williams house, which is notorious for being the site of the killing in the book and subsequent movie called Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. The house has quite a macabre history in and of itself aside from that, uh, with several deaths occurring there, including one in 1969 where a boy was chasing pigeons across the roof and fell off and landed on this iron fence. When I'm walking in a city, I always enjoy looking down too, as well as looking up, just to get some of the texture of where you're walking. I think it gives you a sense of the place when you see the pavement and the cobblestones and the bricks and things like that down below. It takes a while to get the feel for a place and uh, I like to walk because it's the best way to get a sense of a city, in my opinion. Here we are on River Street, uh, on the riverfront, obviously. I love the beautiful old homes and this is across the street from Forsyth Park where also these big trees are. It's more or less Savannah's version of Central Park. And I spotted across the street something that looked like an abandoned house so I thought I would check that out. You know me, I can't resist an abandoned house. This one's not really abandoned. It's appears to be empty but it's under renovation which is good because that means they're saving it. Uh, what an amazing, interesting story structure this is. I've never seen a picture window quite like this one sitting on top of a column. Normally they're on the corner of a building. It's a great house. I'm glad they're saving it. Here in Forsyth Park, this is a uh, garden. And of course, if we look up, some of the beautiful trees with Spanish moss that Savannah is known for. And now we'll transition from these trees to these trees, which are at Wormslow Plantation, which was an early settlement here outside Savannah on the edge of a coastal marsh. The original house was built of oyster shell tabby concrete, I believe in the 1700s. It's now just in ruins and we'll see that shortly. What's most notable here is the beautiful long driveway lined with oaks. And I did a separate video about this if you're interested, uh, check that out, where I drive the entire one and a half mile drive showing you all the trees.
quick look at some Spanish moss that had fallen on the ground. Not quite sure how this stuff works, but it's interesting. And here we can see uh, part of the old house I was talking about. Concrete made from oyster shells. Here we see the salt marsh and the tide is out at the moment that we're here. And right on the edge here is uh, that we're standing on is the oyster shell midden left over from them when the house was here, I, I presume. Big pile of broken oyster shells. More Spanish moss on the ground. I just like the sound of things. If you listen, I'm going to repeat this sequence. If you listen right before I touch the camera and right at the end, you can hear the clucking of the oyster shells opening as the tide starts to roll back in. Listen closely. It sounds like fingers popping. Here we go.
Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to visit my website, keithdotson.com.